Guys, we lost Mike. We didn't know where he went. We thought he maybe fell asleep at lunch, but we found him over here playing with bucket trucks. Mike likes the bucket trucks. Mike likes the tow trucks. Don't Nobody know why. else likes them. Yeah, but Mike loves them. So everybody here has their own thing. Um, police like us too, hey. Um, <laughs> but he's out here playing with the bucket trucks, lo and behold. And we've got a good selection. Tomorrow, he was out here doing a video leading up to it. So we'll see if his video or our video does better. But we're going to line them up out here. We've got close to 30 bucket trucks. If he turns them off, it'll be very helpful for this video because they're super loud. Um, got them anywhere from 25,000 up, but most of them are realistically in the 25 to 35 range. We only have a few that are more than that. That's a quarter the price of a new truck, just in case you don't know. These trucks are 100,000 plus, but he's just finished. And look at him. He looks great posing beside one of those. Love these things. Yep. Yeah, that's, our, th else that's can, our thumbnail right and there. And nobody else will get in the bucket and go up. Yeah. So Mike likes to go as high as possible. And if you know where we're located, this is Route 1. 95 is a mile through there or less. But he likes to go up high enough he can see 95. And he checks people's license plates and inspections. I swear we couldn't have picked a worse time to do this video. Well, but, if you're not going to have a bucket truck, you're not going to use it. What purpose is it? Yeah, that's true. So he does go up and operate them. No used vehicle is going to be perfect, but he does take the time to go up, try the functions, try the generators, go through the trucks pretty thorough, and we do get behind on that. So that's what we're trying to catch up on now. And hopefully tomorrow, we're going to bring you one of the best, uh, pretty much hard to beat lineups when we line all these things across this front line from small to big and everything in between. I just told him the price point, Mike. Well, what's the sizes we've got? We've got them starting, JW, it's 30 foot being the Ford. 37 with the Dodge you're leaning against right now. Another Dodge and a couple Ford 550s on the end, they're 42 foot. And then I've got, this one is a 55 foot. The good thing about this truck, other than being a monster, it's got a 110 degree articulation. So this boom will go all the way over and come to the ground, which is very, very valuable to a lot of our contractors. Okay. Right. And this is one of them that we have several like yes, just have, alike. Yes. Right. 12 and 13 yeah. miles, 60 to 70, I believe. 25 grand, 68,000 mile truck. The mileage is vary a little bit, but they're all in that price point. That truck is probably $150,000 new, right? I'm sure, I'm sure, evidently. So, so yes. it's it's a, a sixth of the cost or a seventh of the cost of new. Um, in comparison, that's a good running low mileage truck. I know we have two or three ready and we have two or three more getting ready. So if somebody wants to upgrade their fleet, it's also got the wireless spotlights on it. Um, some of that little stuff we don't get to, but even the front of that truck, it's still got the cone holder, the bumper's not mashed up, it's got the little bumper guards, uh, the little feeler things there. If you hit something with those, you hit something with the truck. Tires are in good shape, and these were all fleet companies, some smaller, some bigger, but between power company, um, what's, the, uh, what's the other term they use nowadays? Fiber optics yep. and uh, the tree. telecommunication, but tree uses people. after that for trees and Painters, painters. I mean, gutter guys. Refer to that video we did. Gutters, painters, guys that put up interior like this building here is 30 foot to the peak inside. So if you want to put up a light, if you want to put up a fan, you know, one of these Fords right here, you, you know, no better usage. But and Mike will be happy to display any of these for you. Absolutely. Show you how to do it. If anybody wants uh, to join for a ride, come on. Yeah. We go. For, we don't charge for rides either. But did you explain to them what they're getting for 25, not other, only a bucket truck, but they're getting a utility Well, the service body, truck, yeah, service body that's truck. what we talked about in the other video. But yes, you're getting a service body truck. This one here is a fiberglass body, <clears throat> so it's never going to rust. And they've got really nice compartments in them. So real easy to organize your stuff. They're adjustable. Some of them slide out. The big truck, it does have a metal box and you can see a little bit of deterioration, easy enough to hit it with a little sander and a little paint, no big deal. But the bigger truck, bigger box, bigger storage. Um, we try to make sure they've got all their, you know, tire chocks, but inside you still got nice divided storage. So yes, you're getting a service truck too. And for the price of those trucks, like we try to tell people for 25 grand, if you don't even use the bucket, you got a nice utility truck that you can carry your ladder, you can carry your materials to the job site, even if you're building a deck, but if you gotta get up one day somewhere taller, you can. So 
you're carrying around a little extra apparatus that's costing you nothing on these. That's a kind of a one-time deal. We hardly ever get these in this price point, but you know, we've got a good selection right now. So. And if you want to pull a prank, you can get Christian in the bucket with it not running, start it up, get him up in the air, and, and he'll turn talk to it you all off. day long. And the bad thing is he never thinks while he's up there that high to maybe like do a video or take some pictures. <laughs> oh, he just sits game's up there. on. He just sits up there and cries and complains all afternoon. So um, I knew you were going to get in this somehow, Christian. Yeah. So <laughs> And on these with the generator, it also has onboard power um, up to 220. Don't fall. 240 actually. Yes. 240 power. So again, working on a job site, running saws, running other things, you can pretty much power your whole outfit. And they're not Mickey Mouse generators, they're Onan. They're quality generators. I think they're 7 kW if I'm not yeah, mistaken. And most of them are low hours because these guys, they're making big bucks sitting on their cell phone in the air condition, playing on the computer, and they might have to hit a job or two a day, but the hours on the generators on most of these are extremely low. Um, yeah, just good trucks, and you got to see Mike for these because he's the expert. <laughs> no, 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 we're training Christian. That's that's part of this video. He's going to take this home and rewind it and watch it over and over he's, again. He's walking away as fast as he's coming. I know coming, it. Y'all notice that? <laughs> hopefully tomorrow, if not Friday, we'll line them all up. But if you go to the website, we tell you guys to go to the website. This is only four of the 25 to 30 that we've got. You can view each and every one on the website. There's a few that aren't on there that are getting service, getting ready, getting little functions fixed. Uh, please call ahead. We'll make sure that they're out and ready to check out and hopefully accommodate you. A couple of them in four-wheel drive, most of them two-wheel drive, and a few more on the way that aren't posted yet. So thanks, guys. Appreciate the support. Thank you all for stopping.